Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our push strength, focus on our shoulder and our triceps again. Straight away I'm going to start with the greatest stretch. One of the things which happened today was the gym was completely uh, full. There was a lot of space uh, which was not available for me to freely work out. So I chose to do exercises which we are able to do at, in small constrained spaces. So as we move forward, today's choice of exercises are because of, okay, there is no space here. Let's work out here. Let's do this particular exercise and still get our work done. So I hope this will help you too. After completing my five repetitions of the greatest stretch, I moved into the deep squat made sure that you squat every day at least once into the deepest depth possible and try to improve on it on a regular basis this would make sure that you know your hip mobility stays healthy and will also help you in a regular lifestyle to start off with i started with a little bit of mobility drill for my shoulders basically plate rotations around your head 10 rotations on one side, 10 rotations on the other side. It doesn't really matter much. It's basically 20 rotations in total. So I'm going to speed up the video. You already know how to do this. Simply take a plate, 5 kilos, 2.5, 10 kilos, whatever you can manage and start rotating it around your head. Take as big circle as possible. And post completing the reps, I just did a couple of overhead presses to make sure that my shoulders are ready for our exercises. To start off with, the first exercise which I chose to do is rear delt raises. This is the first time I'm doing this particular exercise in the recording. Pretty easy exercise. First, I have started doing warm up two sets up to 12 repetitions with a light weight, just two kilo dumbbell. You sit down on any bench and lean forward. And once you lean forward, hold the dumbbells and start doing a ray del fly basically try to focus as much as possible on getting that ray delt activation your traps will kick in if the weight is too heavy you will also feel stress on your elbows if the weight is too heavy so make sure you take it challenging enough weight but not something which is so heavy that your mid traps do most of the uh, work we want to focus on our ray delts so it would take a little bit of a, it's a, a bit of learning curve, but I'm pretty sure you will get it after doing a couple of sets. So I've done total five sets, 10 to 12 repetitions of these. Now, when you're holding the dumbbell, I prefer holding it in a neutral grip manner. So basically overarm grip, not palms facing down, but palms basically facing back. And with every repetition, try to focus on getting that ray delt contraction as much as possible yes your mid traps will kick in definitely and as the weight gets a little bit heavier you would tend to get up a little bit that's absolutely fine it's just try to keep going with the repetition slow down on the eccentric movement basically when the dumbbells are coming down try to slow down and control that movement as much as possible that would help you feel that ray delt stretch a lot more you might not feel the muscle getting activated much during the exercise, but when you try to contract it or when you try to you know, push your chest in the front and try to pose a little bit, you would definitely feel the muscle completely pumped up with blood. This particular exercise might take a little bit of time to learn, but I would definitely recommend trying it out. A great way to work on your delts if you only have a couple of dumbbells to work with and limited space like I was today. Next exercise, I chose to do the seated lateral raises. Again, no change in the position. I chose this one corner of the gym and I stuck there. I have done again five repetitions of this, 10 to 12 repetitions, uh, five sets, 10 to 12 repetitions of this with 45 seconds break in between. Since I was not able to uh, go heavy on a cable machine or you know pick heavier dumbbells and doing it do it standing i chose to just sit down and focus on my movement reduce or basically increase the time of the movement a lot more raise it as low as possible bring it down as low as possible increasing the tempo of the each and every repetition as you do this particular exercise if you feel any kind of stress coming onto your elbows try to basically bend 
your wrist in a in such a way that as if you're pouring water from a jug and so we, as you hold it your palms will be facing down towards the floor and that would you know take away some stress from your elbows and focus more on getting that elbow to shoulder level into more of a raise yes as your arms are long away from your body there will be some stress on your elbow i have explained this bit in my one of my earlier videos when i started doing this in my first 10 videos but this particular exercise can cause elbow stress if not done properly for my next exercise i moved on to my triceps for triceps i have done simple overarm grip push downs so here you take a straight bar or any if you have an easy bar attachment that's fine too but make sure you take an overarm grip in overarm grip basically your palms are facing down so you're gripping the bar from the elbow and then push down for this particular exercise you need to lean a little bit forward to give that amount of space for your arms to completely extend because if you're standing absolutely straight straight your arms can't extend completely and your triceps won't get full amount of activation because the bar will constantly touch your legs and you would stop the movement there but if you lean forward a little bit your arms can stretch completely down or extend completely down without touching your legs make sure you feel every repetition for a complete extension that would activate your triceps as much as possible as you can see in the video how i lean forward and try to get absolute straight hand as possible now the weight you can start with a challenging weight and stay there or you can choose to do progressive overload it's absolutely fine but five sets 12 repetitions is a good area to get most amount of work done on your triceps 45 seconds rest is more than enough because it's a again machine based exercise you can quickly jump into it quickly change onto the weights and also since our triceps have not done much of work in terms of our shoulder work which we have done wherein we have done rear delt flies and lateral races triceps are not much tired for my next exercise i chose to do the hanging vertical hangs basically here i was able to hang around 70 to 75 seconds so some a little bit of improvement but i would still prefer to get that 100 seconds post workout that would be the range which we want to achieve eventually but if you're still like me stuck behind 100 absolutely fine let's keep practicing it if you are able to achieve 100 wonderful but still keep doing it on a regular basis to improve the endurance of your forearm maybe you can get 120 seconds out of it next one i am going to do the plank again again using the bosu ball to create a little bit of instability at my elbow level don't like doing the regular plank like this one i also try to move the ball a little bit you know forward and backward to create a little bit more instability a little bit of more challenge to my core i was able to do the plank for about one minute and i think that's good enough time make sure you try it out if you feel it if you feel it's absolutely difficult for you you can do a regular plank but otherwise give it a try for my next exercise i went to my favorite bus drivers to get that front delt activation basically choose a plate or a dumbbell and just start turning it like a steering wheel try to over exaggerate the turn so that you get that inner contraction of your front delt a very good exercise to finish off your shoulder workouts gives an absolute pump for your shoulders make sure the weight stays at your eye level and you can lean back a little bit without any support just lean back a little bit and then bring the weight up to your eye level creates that extra bit of stress on your shoulders and that's the last exercise for the day post this we move into our decompression basically lean forward drop your one hand at a time try to touch the floor but not actually touch it and start drawing circles on the floor 10 circles you may you may do it a couple of times to decompress your shoulders the hanging the vertical hang which we have done also did a good job of decompressing our shoulders 
And that's it for today. If you did like the video, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. I'll keep putting everyday workouts, keep uploading it on a regular basis. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.